Suspect, sister. I don't trust you. You're a Christian? All right, let me ask. Your head's up. I didn't see a head. <laughs> yeah? Let me see. This head, I don't trust it. So can I start asking, Mama, I don't trust you, Mama? Why your head is like this? Stand up, let me ask you. How do you know you're a Christian? That's when I would say when conversion takes place, you live your old life and then you're living a new life. That's my explanation. You hear this, this one? Another head up, let me hear. You see, it's difficult now. Where is that one here? Run, you are hiding. <laughs> so can you see many of you, you don't even know what is a Christian. Many of you, you don't even know. Let me see your hands again. How do you know you are a Christian? Let me ask you. The Bible says, the spirit of God and my spirit confirm that I'm a child of God. The Bible says, how do you know? Within me, I know. He said, within him, he knows. Let me ask, I'm not seeing. <laughs> what about here, pastors? <laughs> how do you know you're a Christian? So you are answering the same way. How do you know here? All right, let me come closer. I know because I have the peace of God inside my heart. In it, whatever what is happening to my heart, I have the confirmation that I'm the child of God. Says so peace of God in your heart. I will still have to ask, what is the peace of God? Let me answer. When you have the peace of God inside your heart, you don't check the situation, what you are going through. Whenever what is happening to your life, it doesn't mean anything. You have the peace in all the situation. You say, you don't worry about any situation. Because there's a peace of God in your heart. That's what you're saying. Okay. I still have a question on that. In fact, your answer is not clear. If your Christianity is based on the issue of situations, what if there's no situations? Answer. If your situations based in the issue of answering situations, where there is no situation, everything about you, it has to correspond with the word of God. All right. In the Bible, it says, do not eat a pig. In the Bible, it says, you must not eat pork. My righteousness with God is not about what I eat or what I, I it's not about what you are doing. What it's you about, eat or drink. Or what you eat or drink. It's about what God says concerning you. Therefore, even beer is allowed. No, it's not allowed. One day, you people, you are going to be asked this question. You know why I'm asking these questions to you? One day, people are going to ask you this question. What are you going to say if people say, what is the meaning of being a Christian? Uh, the meaning of being a Christian, you're supposed to, to, to be what God says he is. Because the Bible, you, you must do everything according to the Bible. So, I want to tell you the meaning of a Christian. Can I tell you? Amen. Eh? Yes. A person who is ready to die and go to heaven. Are you ready to die now? I'm ready to die now. Come here, come, come follow me. <laughs> Give me a knife. Or I sit down. So that person 
if he is ready to die to go to heaven, when, when he is tempted, he will make sure he passes the test. Whatever comes his way, he will say, no, 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 no. What if God calls me now? A Christian must be a person who is ready to die. Are you ready to die? You are not. Because there are some things around you that you need to correct. It shows you are not a Christian. Because he who is ready to die, he has corrected all. That's where you can talk about the issue of the righteousness, the what, 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 the what, what, what. Those are the things that shows the character of that Christian. You cannot talk about a Christian by character, but by life. So life and character are different. Are you ready to die? Ask your neighbor. Paul says, listen to this. Paul says, for me to live is what? In other way, he was ready. For me to live is? Are you sure? There are some things around you. If you are ready to die to go to heaven, there are things you will correct before. Okay, let me give an example. If people enter here and holding swords, did you see what happened with the apostles? How they died? Eh? Listen to this. The apostles, all of them, were questioned of their faith. Renounce your faith or else you die. Denounce your faith and die. Or else you die. So one day someone will come and say, are you a Christian? If you are say you are a Christian, I kill you now. Because if you are ready to die, you say, yes, I'm a Christian. I'm ready to die. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If you remember, they say, no, we don't care about the blessing from the king. We know we are promoted from the king, but we are ready to what? Even if we won't be saved by God, let it be known that we won't worship. Because we are ready to meet our God. So our Christianity now is based on things. That's what you were saying. If the situation, no, remove situation. Because the situation can change tomorrow. What if the situation now, what, is, what about if you can be a millionaire tomorrow? What kind of Christianity are you going to live? If God say, give everything you have, are you going to do that? Because he was ready to die, will be seen by hearing God's voice. He's ready to lose everything. If God say, give everything, he will do it. Ask your neighbor and say, are you a Christian? And the answer is, but now, if you go to a point where, in your Christianity, you do it like religion, don't correspond Christianity with religion. In religion, I follow this, I do this, I do that. The men on the cross never live a Christian life. The men, you remember the men on the cross? Yeah. Eh? Did, did he know what is Christianity? He just said he reprimand that one. He said, hey, brother, we are all going to die now. But why are you not afraid of, of death? Whereas you're a sinner. This man is a just man. Say, remember me, because I'm going to die now. Remember me. When I, when I, when I do it. And, and Jesus said, he said when? Did he say, 
He said tonight. Eh? He said you will be with me in paradise. I'm very happy for you, you are here, but let's change this Christianity of things. That's why now we have got, we are using our faith in a wrong way. Our faith, you know, is of getting this, getting that. A Christian that can lose everything and still say, I'm ready to die for God. I can give an example of whereby this man, when he was tested by, by Satan, and when God allowed him, the wife came to him and said, What? You have lost everything. Now curse your God and die. Because her wife was believing God of materials. If you lose everything, you are no longer God. Curse your God, job, curse your God and die. You have lost all. And Job said, don't speak like a fool. We must glorify God when we are empty, even when we are what? When we are full. Ask your neighbor, are you a Christian? This is what I want to teach people this year, to understand our Christianity is not all about things. It's about your relationship with God. And your relationship with God, you can enjoy it when you have to go to Him. When you go to what? To Him. You can be happy when you can die for your faith. The apostles, when they were beaten up, the Bible says they will rejoice that they suffer for his name. Today our Christianity is based on what? Huh? Materials. Very soon we are going to have a testimony here. It will be talking about, I found a job. After three months, you'll be complaining about the same job. Hey, I wake up in the morning, no salary increase. The same job you were giving a testimony here. A man will never be satisfied by anything unless by having what? Relationship with what? With God. Okay, God bless you.